people often think about self-care in terms of physical aesthetics, you know, like a face mask, a trip to the nail salon, a bubble bath, etc. But for others, self-care is sometimes viewed as an indulgence by spending money on expensive things like a spa trip, a grand vacation, or buying a luxury item even. But in reality, self-care is a holistic integration of physical, mental, and spiritual well-being. It's about fueling the body, engaging the mind, and nurturing your spirit. With a wedding less than a month away, I've let some stress creep in and feel that it's far overdue for me to spend an entire weekend just checking off some self-care must-dos of my own. Movement is absolutely a form of self-care, especially when approached with gentleness and purpose. Movement as a form of self-care doesn't have to involve curating a strict gym routine or aiming for weight loss or obsessing over calorie deficits. You don't need to force yourself into powerlifting or an intense hit class if that doesn't feel good to you. It's about mindfully moving our bodies without focusing on an end goal. It could be something as simple as taking a leisurely walk without counting the steps, or you could try Pilates or yoga purely for the purpose of maintaining flexibility in your joints. This morning, I opted into a heated vinyasa flow yoga class. The combination of physical movement, breathing exercises, and meditation and yoga, it just has a profound impact on stress reduction for me. In practicing daily movement, it allows me to just carve out dedicated time for myself, fostering self-reflection, self-care. It creates a space for me to connect with my body and listen to its needs, honor my own well-being. Taking this time for yourself can be a really powerful act of self-love and nurturing. The key is that these short moments of mindfulness, they don't have to be linked to a specific fitness objective. Instead, they should be centered around low impact activities if that's what you want, that both engage the mind and nurture the body. sweat session, perhaps it goes without saying that self-care includes hygiene, but let's just take that a step further. Just like movement, practicing hygiene involves taking care of our bodies and can enhance our physical and emotional comfort. For example, taking a warm shower or a warm bath, it can help relieve muscular tension, promote relaxation, but even just feeling clean and fresh can boost our self-confidence, our self-esteem, which in turn can help alleviate stress and anxiety. I am fresh, showered, clean, my hair is dry, makeup is on, and I'm feeling good. I swear, personal hygiene really, really, especially when you take that time just for yourself, it makes a huge difference in self-care. Especially whenever you keep your bathroom stocked with like quality products, things that you love, things that smell good. It really just takes the mundane task of taking a shower and really elevates it into that more luxurious self-care type of experience. When it comes to body hair, I am a hairy person. However, I'm also a firm believer that you can do whatever you want with your body hair because it's your body. Personally, I do shave my legs, my armpits, my bikini line from time to time. And I don't know about you guys, but I've had some horror stories whenever it comes to razors. Have you ever had one of those razor blade heads that gets super like, it's like gooey. It's like goopy the minute that water touches it. Awful, terrible experience. Even for a few months, I was using one of those very, very popular subscription services, but every single time the handle would break. It wouldn't even attach to the blade itself. It happened multiple times. It was so frustrating. Thankfully, Athena Club has saved the day whenever it comes to my shaving routine. The Athena Club blades are surrounded by a water activated serum made with hyaluronic acid and shea butter, which offers lasting hydration and also a super smooth shave that prevents bumps and irritation, something that I have personally always struggled with, but no more. Athena Club is a subscription service, but if you're a Target shopper, then you will be very, very happy to hear that you can actually buy their razor kit in Target store. So next time you make your Target run, definitely check them out. The razor kit includes the razor handle, two razor cartridges, a magnetic hook that is super easy for storage right in your shower. You can also customize the color of your razor kit. They have so many cute colors. Some are even limited edition. Of course, y'all know me. I had to go with the 
green one because it's my favorite color. But not only can you get their amazing razor kit, you can also get tons of other great self-care products from Athena Club at Target, including their Cloud Shave Foam, which is just oh, so luxurious. You can get wax strips for your face and for your body if you prefer that method of hair removal. And then you can also get cartridge refills, all for under $12 at Target. But if you like shopping from the confines of your own home, then they do have that subscription and delivery service, which is just oh so convenient. And it is fully customizable, so that way you can customize and receive your products, including blade replacements, deodorant, etc., all on a schedule that works for you. And then you can pause, you can resume, you can cancel at any time. It's super flexible. And one of the best things about Athena Club is that it is half the price, but all of the quality. The blades are a fraction of the price of competitors. So make sure to check them out on your next Target run. And thank you so much to Athena Club for sponsoring this video. conversation all about self-care, we all know how important finding time to relax is, but sometimes finding the time to relax can become a stress itself. As someone who loves to be productive and cross every to-do off my list, even on the weekend, sometimes it can be difficult for me to just stop. That's why I've implemented a wind down routine before bed, just to make sure that once my head hits the pillow, I am ready and able to switch off. I always do something enjoyable and relaxing, even if it's just for 30 minutes to an hour before I crawl into bed. Practice mindful skincare, watch a TV show, make a dessert tea, light some candles, but giving myself that buffer before I crawl into bed, it helps me unwind and of course ultimately makes my sleep so much more fulfilling that night. Just like the slow evening I had last night, I wanted to ease myself into a Sunday and really indulge in my coffee making. On self-care weekends, coffee becomes less of a caffeine necessity to fuel me and more of a morning treat. So this morning, I decided to be a little bit extra with my barista skills. This morning called for a salted caramel almond milk latte, but with a bit of a twist. I had recently picked up this coconut whipped topping from Trader Joe's and decided to add that and even a little sprinkle of spices onto my latte with some nutmeg, some cinnamon. Even though this is such a simple daily ritual, I mean, at the end of the day, it is just having my morning coffee, but slowing it down and romanticizing the process, it helps remind myself that sometimes it's the small details of life that can really set your day off to the right tune. Speaking of Sunday, do you ever find yourself experiencing the dreaded Sunday scaries? It's that looming sense of doom that creeps in on Sundays as the tranquility of the weekend begins to fade away and the apprehension of Monday morning sets in. And whether you have a full-time job or a flexible schedule, maybe you're a student, it's easy to feel just overwhelmed by the upcoming week whenever that may start for you. So a bit of self-care that really sets my week off on the right foot is to conduct a dedicated planning session just to transform the week ahead from a source of dread into a path of success. By gaining just a bird's eye view of my week, I can identify schedule conflicts, overlapping deadlines, and this foresight empowers me to take decisive action instead of always being in reactive mode. Additionally, if unexpected events arise, as they always do, I can adjust my course since I've already had a plan in place. Even if I just find 15, 30 minutes to do a little planning session, not only do I feel so much better on Sunday night, but I'll be setting myself up for success on Monday morning, which is one of the ultimate forms of self-care that you can do for yourself. Speaking 
of a to-do list, my Sundays are almost always dedicated to prepping some meals for the week ahead, something that I find instrumental for my weekly self-care. And I know what you're thinking, yeah, yeah, a nourished body, a nourished mind, all that, right? And sure, while it's true that meal prepping helps you prioritize nutrient-dense ingredients more easily and that intentionality in your diet can have a positive impact on your well-being, honestly, it's the time-saving aspect that sells me. It reduces the need to make impulsive food choices or rely on less healthy options because of time constraints. When I have pre-prepared meals that I genuinely enjoy, I eliminate the stress of figuring out what to eat and the time it takes to actually make it. This is especially handy during busy and hectic periods. Just taking the guesswork out of one thing every single day and not having to think or debate about something makes a huge difference for me. Anything that contributes to less stress and a healthy body absolutely constitutes as self-care. So although this checklist is something that I do refer to from time to time, one thing I never want to do is make self-care feel like a chore or feel punishing. That's why the last part of my self-care weekend involves simply doing something that I love to do. Whatever this may be, and it does change from time to time, it should be something that I really love, not something that I just think I should do. For example, sometimes going to the gym may be the thing that I really enjoy and that rejuvenates me, but other times it's spending time in my garden, filming content for this channel, playing video games, or treating myself to a face mask and a bubble bath. And remember, it's also awesome to romanticize those mundane parts of self-care like making those to-do lists or prepping your meals. Let me know in the comments how you plan on caring for yourself this week. Thank you so much again to Athena Club for sponsoring this video, and I will see y'all in the next one.